another day, another beautiful morning, another free smiles. Free smiles? Um, episode 101. So there is some correction to my daily logins. Um, yeah, we finally got the last fragments for the Clio yesterday. So technically, I thought that would be the mark of 360 days. But um, we got corrected in the comments uh, last video and actually went to go check myself. So you actually collect Clio over the course of four months. So what that means is, so we are actually on day 390. So we we missed our one year. I wanted to do like a special, hey, it's one year, happy one year, whatever. But, you know, I guess, um, well, happy one year, guys. <laughs> it's been a one year so far, over one year. And yeah, we're, we're a little bit over at the moment, 25 days or so. So, um, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see what's going on today. We have a bunch of events we want to go over. Uh, we already collected our clan boss rewards. And I guess if I remember, I'll put it up here if I remember to take screenshots. Um, I think we got some voice shard, uh, some ancient shards, no sacred shards, I think. I think, I don't remember. And we did hit Hydra boss normal. So I do want to see what I got with you guys here. I'm glad that we're downing it every single day or every single week. So I can get double the amount of Mithralis because she's really good. Defense percentage. Mm, speed. Defense percentage again with the protection set and crit damage. Yeah, these are not very good. But I these are potentially something I could roll on for the 5 stars if I want to. If I get like triple rolls or something. What else? Now give me more Mithrala. Two. Alright, cool. I'll take it. Um, Those are pretty bad. Those are pretty bad. And those are pretty bad. Okay, well, it is what it is. <clears throat> okay, let me change channels here real quick. <laughs> All right, so there is a special event going on right now, today. And it is for a bunch of poisoners, actually. I would love to get my hands on a Eurogrim. I would love to get my hands on a Battle Bazaar or Cleo or Theodore is the prize. Yeah, he is a grand prize. So, I mean, I would love to pull him. <laughs> Do I have the resource to go for him? Uh, I'm not so sure. So I know there's an event right now as well, Summon Rush. The thing is, I don't need to summon my shards because I already have all the fragments for this. The Wuji and i can actually skip out on this i won one of my tournaments where i got 10 of these fragments so i kind of put myself in a position where i can completely skip this event and not even go for the wuji because i already have her so i'm not so sure maybe i will summon a couple of my shards i don't know you know what i'll, I'll think about it a little bit give me some time to think about it um as far as other progression in my game so i did put out another video for Sacred Order, I believe. Yeah. Didn't we just have Sacred Order? And it popped up again? Huh. Interesting. Yeah, so I did put out a video for Sacred Order. If you guys are interested, check it out. Um, we did use... My lineup was actually this right here. If you want to see me go more in-depth into the composition, then make sure to check out my other video. That'll probably have a card here right here. So, yeah. And yeah, our Faction Wars is definitely progressing very nicely. The next ones I gotta complete is High Elves, Dark Elves. Those should be pretty simple. And I mean, these are actually like three, four of the easiest factions in the game, I'd say. Demon Spawn, High Elves, or Strongest rather, Sacred Order, Dark Elves. Like as far as like champions you have in there. But um, Night Revenant is gonna be tough. I think Lizardmen I'll get done pretty quickly too. And as far as Doom Tower, um, I've been slacking off a little bit in Doom Tower. I haven't completed it yet, but I mean, I can definitely get this done for sure. That is for sure. All right. So what events are going on right now that I want to take part in? Um, I mean, I have to do arena tag arena. No, 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 no. Let me get out of there. Do I have to do ice golem for Wuji? No, I don't. 
I already have Uji, so I don't have to do this. That is great. I can save energy. I don't have to go for that at all. And what about this? Champ training, I definitely have to get done. This champ training is rough, guys. 9,000 points? Oof. That is a lot. But we're about halfway there, so... Uh, and we have, a, we have like plenty of time on that still. Artifact enhancement, another one that I can skip out on, which is great. Because I pulled this champion. Uh, I can save a bunch of silver there. I mean, I'm okay with artifact enhancements in general because those are usually the times I'll summon or use my uh, silver to upgrade gear that I want to upgrade. But I pretty much upgraded most of the stuff I wanted to already. Dungeon divers I have to get done too because I need that. Yeah, so our fragment situation is looking pretty good. Once I finish the uh, dungeon divers and I'll have him done, I already have her. And Carlina. Carlina? She's the only one I gotta get done. And Wuji, I don't really care about because I already have her too. So that is pretty much it for getting Lone Otharo. All right, so I do, I have 130 energy there that I don't want to sit there. So let me just hit this real quick. <laughs> this 10X event is really, really decent. Like Theodore is someone I really, really want um, because he enables a, uh, speed compositions for your spider for dragon for ice golem like all over the place like he just he's so insane really really good so that is someone i would want to go for but i i'm not really in a position on my free to play account to say yeah i'm gonna go ham for her for that champion and um you know have nothing left for any of the other events that come in the future for two x's or guaranteed like guaranteed summons are ideally what i want to go for like, I have enough gems saved up at, the po at this point to go for, like, 150 Ancient Shards. Well, not yet. Soon. Soon we'll have enough for, like, 150 Ancients uh, guaranteed summons. Uh, maybe even, like, 120 Ancients. Uh, I mean, that I have enough for if they do something like that for guaranteed Legendary. But as far as Sacred Shards, I don't think I want to... I don't think I want to summon these anymore until I see another guaranteed event. For, like, 15 Sacred Shards. Yeah. So we gotta save up 13 more. Because I know, I know 2x summons are like the best chance to summon, but like guarantees are guarantees, right? So, and there might be something really interesting there because lately they've been putting out some really, really decent champions there. All right. So I do want to make some quick silver here and let's see, because we are running low on silver. Maybe I could save, hmm, I could save it for CVC actually. Yeah, I could. Well, let me just show you real quick. So if you guys are ever wondering, you want a quick way to make some easy, easy silver, then just go over to your three to four stars in your artifacts, because there's a lot of uh, artifacts you're not going to use here. Ideally, you want to go for the five, six stars or maybe even four, five stars. But the uh, three, four stars, you don't touch any of your resources in the five or six stars that you use in three to four stars. So in this case scenario, fatal set, not really that great of a set. I can just make a bunch of these, summon it quickly, and then collect it, and I can just do it again. Summon a bunch of these, collect it, do it again. And I'm not really going to use any of this, so it doesn't really matter. Oops. Collect these, do a bunch of those again, collect these, do it like one more time. And we go to the artifacts, and we make some easy gold, guys, or silver. So we do have a, oh yeah, we did win some rewards here. And I forgot to mention my rewards from last video, the six star legendary Relentless set I won, but they weren't that great. So I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> okay, so let's see the rares. Actually, what am I doing? Um, What's the easiest way to do this? Go to three to four stars and just sell all, right? Yeah. Boom, easy, almost one mil from like, 10 seconds of crafting, right? I know like some of it was the shields, but you know, you get the point. Okay, um, what do we win here? We got the speed, okay. We got crit rate, uh, not that ideal. Accuracy, re resistance, no speed. Crit damage, okay. And oh, speed with accuracy, that's huge. I actually wanna see what that rule, so let's go to eight. I try to save until 12 for the in, or the artifact enhancement events, 
But to the 8, you don't really get that much points, so it's fine. Okay, we got 1. 1 accuracy. Yeah, I I don't think I had any... I Maybe I did, but with accuracy, I don't think I did. The Relentless set, that is. Yeah, that's solid. That's really solid. And we needed that for that anyways. So, yeah, let's see. Some more Arena. Is that an easy team? Some of these teams are kind of... Um, not really in a position we should be good here i'm still considering like do i want to maybe pop some sacreds just a, just a couple you know just to uh, test my luck the voice shards I'm definitely saving. I know Yurgrim is fantastic, but I can go ten, I can go twenty at, at voids right now and just get all rares. So I don't want to. Uh, yeah, I, I really want to save those for the two X events for sure. I think we're gonna get outsped here. Yep. Oh, okay. Very nice. Not nice. No. Okay. Okay. Oh, that was close. That was super close. <laughs> okay. Easy. And I do want to talk about one more thing, guys. There are some new announcements for the uh, Awakening. There's there's some big changes coming to the game. And I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Like, while new content in the game is amazing, um, I'm kind of a little concerned on it making or breaking the game because we're getting a lot of um awakening right so you're able to get certain um like buffs based on like what you awaken but it's also rng right what kind of awakening points you get as, as from what i remember but i think there's going to be a lot more rng in the game with the awakening going on I think it's gonna be cool. Did we just take the same fight against the steamy loss against? Oh my goodness, what am I doing right now? Okay. Wait. No, we wouldn't want that. Doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> uh okay, so we're done with the uh daily here. Oh, I should have saved that. That was a mistake. Yeah, because I already had energy flowing there. Huge mistake, guys. Okay. So, I need some time. I need some time to think about it. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So that pretty much covers it for today. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Hope you guys have a great summon session if you plan to go for one of these champions. Or I guess you might have to because there's a summon rush, right? And it ties into the Lone of Thorough if you are going for it. But most of you are not. So, yeah, good luck to you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And... If you enjoy my content in general, please make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you all in the next video.